Hello guys, it's Hasabreen here. Today, sorry game, Half Your State is called Her Apartments. Where in this game, your elderly neighbour has gone to town for a week and has asked you to look after her apartment while she's away. However, things don't quite go to plan. So, if you guys would like to play a game for yourself, I'll leave the link down in the description. In the meantime, let's play the game. Presents. Are you ready for the best prices? Let's go. When you order this mower within one minute, you will get two more for absolutely free. Well, only this two offer of them. is only for a limited time. Don't free hesitate them. to call now. What's the point if you got an apartment? Unless I, unless I do have a garden. Right, where's... have lights? No? Hello? Hello? Hey Ray, it's Margaret. Sorry for calling so late, but I'm going out of state for a week. Could you please take care of my cat, water the flowers, and occasionally pick up my mail? I would really appreciate it. Margaret, because that's how all old ladies speak, I suppose. <laughs> oh, hello Mrs. Olson. Of course, I'd be happy to help. When I get home from work in the evenings, I can take care of everything you need. Great, thank you. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Won't you come over to my apartment now so I can show you what you'll need to do? I'll be there in a minute. Apartment number two. She is the best neighbor a person can ask for. I'm glad she trusts me with her apartment. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Great voice accent. So, apartment two. So, we're going down. Hello! Mrs. Olsen! Hello. Wow, looking good, Ray. You're a charming man. Alright, alright. No need to flirt right now. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Olsen. What should I do first? At the end of the hall is a door to my junk room. In that room, there's a watering can. Please bring it here. She's going to make me drink out of the water can, isn't she? Okay, it's anywhere I need to go. Good. Oh, I need to water some plants. Here in the living room are the first two plants. Okay. Well, the last two plants are in the bedroom. I'll wait for you here. Mrs. Olsen is fucking weird. I wonder what medication she's on. Alright, I think we're gonna go feed that cat now. Ah! I usually feed Kitty half a can in the morning and evening. Since you're coming only in the evening, just give her a whole can then. The cans are in the kitchen. Why do I need to know how to do all this? I know it's just a tutorial what I need to do, but... Oh, shit. Oh, there's the cans of food. Wow. Cats being absolutely spoiled, so the whole... Where's Kitty? Ah! Now what? No need to get the mail today. I already did it. Here are my apartment and mailbox keys, plus fifty dollars. Appreciate your help. Ah, this Olsen. So cute. Thanks a lot. I'll make sure everything's taken care of. Just in case. I'll write all the tasks down and leave the note here somewhere if you need anything. Feel free to call me anytime. See you next week. Bye! Have fun! Take care and good night. Let's go back to my apartment and go to bed. Yes. Because we got a big day tomorrow. It's play day with destiny. Or <laughs> bedtime. Hmm. 
phone home from work. I'll pick up the mail for Miss Olsen and me. I'll leave it in our apartment. Okay. And for me. Oh, shit. Fear in town. Authorities search for escaped psychiatric patient. The escape. In the chilling of turn of events the quiet town of jules has been thrown into a shock of state and fear following the escape of a mentally ill man from the jules psychiatric asylum the man identified as 65 year old manson harold whitesmore evaded the institution's security in what authorities are calling an unprecedented breach community on high alert we are doing everything in our power to locate and safely apprehend Mr. Whitesmore, said police chief. Margaret Ellis, in a press conference held earlier to say, We ask the community to stay calm and alert, but do not approach him. Instead, contact the authorities immediately if you see anything suspicious. Description has been why the circulator is a 65 year old, stands approximately six. Point five tall with a slender build and grey hair. Okay, that's pretty wild. How does anyone even escape from there? I hope they find him. Hmm. Right. Okay, here we go. Where did the mail go? Or is it just magically gone somewhere? Mask two. Do, 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 do. Nice and watery plants. Do, 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 do. Time to feed Kitty. Does the kitty have a name? Either Mrs. Olsen knows this Whitmore has gone to help him or whatever, or something happens to Mrs. Olsen and she's not coming back and he's coming here. Hmm. Kitty! Done for the day, now I can go to my apartment and get some rest. As deserved. As deserved. I've got to turn off the lights. Didn't. Okay, so I need to always remember to turn the light off. Right, bedtime! No meals. Another day, another mail collection, and another um, apartment sitting, I suppose. What's going on down here? Bit of a mess, but okay. Mrs. Olsen. Strange. Do not bend. And it's bent. Yeah, why is it creased? Is it a credit card or something? Nothing for me then. Hmm. Oh, apartment C. Sorry. Hmm. Where's the plants? It will be is it somewhere else? Hmm. What is going on? So I'm thinking that I'm gonna call Miss Olsen. Hello? Hello? 
Oh, hello, Miss Olsen. Hello, Mrs. Olsen. I've got a problem. A plant is missing. The one in the living room. Hey, Ray. Really? Everything else is fine. Just one plant disappeared. Yes, well... What the fuck? It's here. It literally wasn't here a few seconds ago. I'm not crazy, am I? <laughs> Maybe you're tired. Sorry if I'm bothering you that much with my work. No, no, that's definitely from my work. I hate it there. Sorry to interrupt, I'm gonna go water them. Bye. The fuck is going on? Well, tons of water. Plants disappearing. Am I going mad? But maybe sleep deprived or something? Maybe thinking about this killer too much. Want to be the cat. Very cute cat. Can't even see it, which is a shame. Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, yes, I can see. Meow food. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow. Bedtime, yeah. Oh, shit. Turn off the lights. What is this? Why is that all highlighted? Oh, wait. That's better. Right, let's go. Everything seems fine for now. Suspicious. I'm wondering what's waiting for me in the mailbox today. Oh, I was expecting a delivery. Amazing interest up to see where we point zero three percent per annual for your de deposits. That's the family free debit card. Open your account. Is it legit? This money. Open your bank today. Let's go to her apartment. Anything for her? Oh, no mail today for her. Okay. Not sure what to expect. What was that noise? Sounds like something moved. Kitty is sure hungry. I mean, it's got enough for days. What? The bowl was right there. Leave the food on the floor. Are you mad? Well, here you go.
things are getting weirder and weirder. So the plant keeps going missing. Now the cat bowl? My debit card from Squid at the Royal State. I'm very excited. Ooh. Wanted. Hmm. Okay. I was looking forward to this moment. It's my first debit card. It's alright having a debit card. What was that? Oh fuck. How's it end up here? Yeah. Oh, ah! man. What the fuck was that disgustingly loud sound? Hi, Jerry. <laughs> Fuh, screw it. I'm drunk as a skunk anyway. You're the one who's taking care of Margaret's apartment now, aren't you? Well, yeah. Yes, that's me. Sorry if I disturbed you. What were you doing there so late yesterday? It was three o'clock in the morning. What? Someone's been going in that apartment. What? By that time, I was sleeping in my bed. I wasn't in her apartment. I saw you. I was coming back from the pub. You were waving at me from the window. Ah, uh, you were just seeing things. I was really sleeping. You shut up again. Is is this Whitmore guy in her apartment by any chance? Oops. Well, I found your bowl. Here we go again. Doesn't matter what way we do it. Okay, I have to water a lot first. Mm. So, Mrs. Whitemore's escaped the asylum. Mrs. Olsen, Mrs. Olsen has gone to town for a week. And we're getting strange things happening in our apartments. And that guy downstairs has said, like, he has seen someone that looks like me waving. Hmm. What's going on here? Right, bedtime! Well, let's turn off some lights, otherwise I won't be able to proceed. Oh. Why is that one light for... Hmm. Oh well. Oh, why is there a crack in the wall there? Has Prisoner Zero escaped? Let's get some sleep, indeed. Taking my last day taking care of Mrs. Olsen's apartment. Hmm. I wonder if this is where things are going to go terribly wrong. Don't say I'm hungry. Say I'm experiencing an acute need for nutritional. It's supposed to have been changing every night or something. Right, there's mail in his newspaper. Okay. Oh, fuck. Sudden a collapse. Square 38 Bank shuts down just two days after opening. Two days after this inconsecutive grand opening has announced Sudden has been expecting closure, sending shocks through the financial community and leaving customers scrambling to understand what went wrong. The collapse unfolds. The reports of trouble at Square 38 Bank began to surface yesterday 
afternoon, cost, yesterday afternoon. Customers experienced issues accessing their accounts and conducting transfer leading to mounting anxiety. By early morning, the bank's management confirms the worst. The bank's dismal start. The only four clients in the first two days had forced them to shut down operations immediately. Impact on customers. For the four customers who did open accounts with Square Foot E8, the sudden closure has resulted in significant certainty. This is, dev this is a devastating blow and said one of the affected account holders who transferred to remain anonymous. We trusted the bank with our funds and now we're wondering if we'll ever get our money back. Hmm. Weird. We're in our apartments, good to good, let's go. Keep to be the kitty for a last for the last time. Oh, don't be sad. Good night, kitty. It's off. Carry me home. Mm, that crack in the wall's got a little bit bigger. I don't know. Right, bedtime. Be home by now. I'm going to re return uh, the keys. Just your spare keys or something? Yes, this poster keeps changing. I'm listening. Is Whitmore a ghost or something? Hi. Hi, Mrs. Olson. It's good to see you again. What if this isn't Mrs. Olsen? Hey, 911, what's your emergency? I thought it wasn't going to be her. <laughs> There's a foreign man in my apartment. He attacked my neighbor and now they're fighting. It's my apartment. Mine. Get out. Everybody out. After the incident, police found two lifeless bodies. Oh. One was a 24-year-old man and the other was a 68-year-old woman. Previous owner of the apartment 2, Harold, escapes from the scene. Police never found him. Oh, damn. I thought that this wasn't too bad for what it was. It was interesting. It was creepy. I had fun with this. I thought it was going to be at the end that Mrs. Olsen knew Mr. Whitmore and was helping him or she got killed. And I liked how there was a little change of details each time. Like things were moving. There was um, little disturbances. Like that drunk neighbour saw someone waving and thought it was me when it wasn't. And I like how that little poster on the board like kept changing each time. Alright guys, I am going to leave here for today. If you enjoyed this video, please do share with friends and family who much of our content. And if you have any game suggestions, we'll see me play. There is a link for that down in the description. Or leave them in the comments. Like, subscribe, comment down below what you think. And I'll see you for the next time.